This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Aries from September 23rd to September 26th, 2021. Let's get to it. What have we got going on for you in the next four days? Knight of Swords. Four of Wands. And the Two of Cups. Oh, it's on here. There's a communication that you've wanted, and that's what's coming in. The 11-11 card, the Four of Wands with the Two of Cups. This is someone that you are going to, you're going to make such a good team with. Like th This is that kind of, this is that kind of partnership that, that, everybody wants that that communication that that it, it's it's goal oriented it's it's waking up in the morning and it's it's discussing your plans for the day so that you can help each other out it's it's that kind of energy here this is a love interest two cups and they're coming in quick it's like they saw something or they have something to tell you, it's urgent. Urgent energy coming from them. I'm almost getting the sense that there, there could be some, something of an urgent matter that brings you both together, but it's it could have something attached to it too. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords for them. Stagnation for you. Conquest. You're you're getting what you want, but there there is an element here that's going to be causing stagnation. There's a mutually beneficial conversation that's taking place here in the next four days. But something's a bit aloof here. Like th there's something that, that's kind of triggering me. Here. There's a problem to be solved still. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see if something co comes out. First question. How open is your love interest to love? Death card. Ooh. Five of swords. And the ten of swords. There's an ending to a cycle here. A hard end to a cycle. And with the five of swords, that's what I was kind of feeling. Like there was conflict between you and this person before. But that's coming to an end on all sides, on your side, on their side, it's over. The trauma is done with. It's going to be, it's so over, it's not going to be thought about again. But there was something there, wasn't there? There was something that stopped you both from carrying on. I feel that's what this conversation is going to be regarding. Why do they feel they need to come to you now? Why is this urgent? The 11, 11 card is a twin flame indicator. It's two people coming together to focus on a shared life's purpose. But to me, with the two of cups, it's like, it's like you share the same goals. Perhaps this person is just witnessing this, but there is there is something urgent taking place here that's bringing all this about. Like they feel they need to, to put an end to this argument between you.
it's almost like it's their fault in a sense. It's like the death card here. There's a lot of energy coming from their side. A lot of energy. Something inspired this person, but it's like something has really inspired them to come towards you right in these next four days. It's very quick moving energy with a nice swords. The death card, it's, it's them putting an end to the trauma. And with the five of swords, it was some sort of miscommunication, some hasty words, perhaps. With you also, on your end, it's, it's like you, you want to put an end to this old cycle. You want to put everything behind you. Let's clarify, let's clarify the Five of Swords there. What happened exactly? For them, prudence. For you, altruism. Yeah, you were selfless. You. You have nothing to be blamed for. You were that white knight, man or woman, doesn't matter. But you were, you were selfless. You were giving. This person knows with prudence, it's, it's something that needs to be resolved here. So what I'm getting here is that this issue needs to be resolved. And it's a hard pressing issue on this connection. Because if, if this doesn't get resolved, it's like they can't really move on with their feelings. But they have the same goals as you. So they are coming in for this conversation because of something that has inspired them, has inspired them to see that there's something here with you. But this has to get resolved first. And the energy is coming from their end. How does the love interest view you at the moment? Queen of Cups. Yeah, you, you did something to touch this person's heart. Seven of Swords. This person is spying on you. You touched their heart and they're spying on you right now. Probably as you're watching this or at least the same day. But they see that you were fair. You were just. Balance needs to be restored in your favor because whatever you gave them has touched them on the inside. This is someone who has a very sensitive soul and you got to it. They see that you weren't the one to blame. Spine. Let's clarify this justice for them. The conversation, yeah, for you. Generosity. They didn't see that you were, they didn't see what you were giving them in, in the past, but they, they're seeing it now. This spying on you is making them want to communicate, wanting to have this conversation. It's almost like they're spying on you because they don't know exactly how to, to come across to you right now. But it is going to be, when they do come, it's going to be with a heart wide open. It's going to be very virtuous, very caring, very nurturing. What's something that will surprise you about this love interest? Queen of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands. So this issue that has been in place between you is what's being resolved. But the way it's being resolved is not by you doing anything. Something they're seeing or something that, that's, that's coming to them as they're watching you. Maybe some sort of memory. Who knows what, but it's divinely driven. So it's, 
It's like divine intervention. Something is putting, it's like, it's like they're being led by the divine into the right place at the right time for a game changing moment. This person has been cold to you and I feel the issue came from them. Like they were very sharp with their tongue. They were very cold, too cold, too overanalyzing in a sense. It's, it's like they acted too quick. This could be an air sign. You see two swords in their energy. So yeah, the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So this could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it's what would what would surprise you is that you really don't know what is gonna be the game changing moment for this person. It's like it's already happened. It's happened behind your back in a sense. This this third issue. Whatever that was coming between you and what you wanted is being resolved by a higher power. And it's kind of being resolved in a way that this person did not expect. Like they were looking for something with a strict eye. And they weren't expecting to fall into this Queen of Cups energy because I feel so far you've been seeing them as the Queen of Swords, man or woman. It's just that energy, very cold and uptight. Let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune for them. Ooh, Judgment. Sorry, I picked the wrong deck, but we'll honor that card. For you, Notoriety. You may be in the public eye somehow. You may be, like th this person was looking for, it's like they were looking for something to scrutinize you with, something to say that your behavior isn't on the level, like you're notorious in some, some way. So they're trying to scrutinize you, but what they ended up with was, this divine intervention, like this is a plan of the universe. Something is calling to them to get them to step out of their confines and reach out for a better life. That's the best way to put it here with the judgment on their side. This is affecting them logically, which is very hard for this person because they were using logic against you. But divine intervention is, is pretty much taking the sword out of their hands. It's like they're, the divine is using their wisdom against them to make them feel like they did something wrong. There is that element of stagnation that keeps appearing. In the extended, we'll look into what should your next move be? We'll ask what is a love interest looking for from this connection? Is there a third party influencing this connection? And we'll ask what will happen if you reach out to this love interest in the next in the next four days, it looks like they're coming to you, but we'll ask that just in case you get anxious. All right. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best with your choices. Much love.